surprisingly, um, this is April 2023 now, uh, as of when this is being filmed, the first actually, April Fools, um, and it's not an April Fools joke, um, surprisingly, the Black Cat's back open in this, as far as I can see so far, the exact same state as last year, despite me, Sanctionist, everything, Ben won, all of us thinking this was going to be it because it was in pretty poor condition last year, but we'll go in nonetheless. Now, first things first, the nappy, if you can see, uh, trying to do it without touching the bloody machine, uh, you might not be able to see very well. The nappy's still behind there, so that's been there for like a year now, which is just nonsense. But so far, apart from one little thing I've noticed already, we'll go in and have a proper look in a minute, uh, everything's still the same. Now, this is new, um, also surprisingly, they've actually invested somewhat, they've got one of these now, which I mean, bright spot got them as well, so it's no, it's not really that much of a surprise, but even so, um, that e-claw, I hate them anyway, so this doesn't affect me, personally, um, you'll find that both of them, both of them don't work anymore now, great. This is getting scrapped, no doubt, um, but everything seems to be the same. Uh, let's try and keep it on the low as we actually go in now, because a lot they really, really don't like. Well, they're really funny, the staff here. And uh, yeah, that's something new as well, I guess. They've uh, flipped this sweet land around, so it actually faces this way now, instead of the opposite way like last year. Yeah, so all the sweet ladders are still here. It would appear all the EX1s are still here, I think. Pretty much all the same machines from last year are still here. Um, first things first, I'm not going to set it off, am I not? At least not yet. That tap's still there, I'm guessing. Well, they've moved that extension lead anyway, I'll give them that. Um, still a wire here, but that's rubber. Um, it shouldn't um, be too much, so that's one thing anyway, I'll give them that. Um, the extension lead's been moved, so that's not really a health risk anymore. Um, Unfortunately, I can already see the uh, workshop door actually still is open. Um, still car batteries and tyres outside. I'm not going to go in. But um, yeah, unfortunately, this is still open. So still a bit of a risk because you've got um, substances and stuff still there. So there's that. Yeah, I'm just trying to hold my phone, my camera, and my can of uh, Pepsi Max at the same time. And unfortunately, I don't have three pairs of free hands. So, yeah, that's that. Yeah, I'll get away from there. Otherwise, I'll get banned right away. Probably. So, yeah, pretty much. It's, it's still the same as it was last year. So, it's that. Just do a bit of a tour, then we'll actually uh, play things. Because to be honest, um, this was a childhood arcade of mine. I still have a soft spot for it. Um, although I can't overlook the safety hazards, unfortunately, which some of them are actually still present. Uh, pretty much all the same from last year. Big one's still here. Uh, same stopping it. This mega crane somehow still exists. So it's pretty much all the same as last year, which, okay, I suppose. Apart from, I don't pay attention to fruit machines, but maybe those, some of these fruit machines here are actually still, so, you know, some of these look new, so that's that. Uh, they've got Mario in this EX1 now, which, fair enough. I mean, that new Mario film's coming out, so it suits. So, um... Say so pretty much, um, it's all the same. Oh, these weren't. I don't think these were actually in this part of the uh, arcade last time. Um, these fruit machines, they're here now. So there's that. That sweet land's still there. We'll obviously be trying that along with a few other things. Keymaster's still there. Equal fully broken now. So yeah, um, that's your arcade tour for 2023 of the Black Cat. <laughs>
let's begin. Start off with the CX-1 with uh, reversible octopuses in it. And then uh, play a few other machines. Not sure what, but just take it as it comes, I suppose. Please grab that. You know, Parker's Leisure. To be fair, right, bright yeah. spot as well. The X ones, some of them aren't set up the best. They're more better with uh, one fit machines, which there aren't any here. So, try this uh, Mario one. I've just seen someone walking around with a Mario, so I'm suspecting right, yeah. this has possibly already paid out, but we'll see. Oh, that is strong. Now, now it's a Saturday today, so unless they opened up yesterday, uh, this might be first day of the season, so... I don't know, maybe they've uh, not set these up right, as in it might pay out or overpay. That's strong, so I don't know. Just need to get a good grab on one, really. Maybe, definitely not. That penguin one, maybe, because that actually does look strong, so. I admit this last try because I don't want to waste it all just on one machine. Uh, Luigi here, I think. Um, we want a good grab. Yeah, it might come back. I just want to try the sweet lawns to be honest. Just put 10p in and got to go immediately, so. Still got the epic uh, bassy music. So, uh, also remember this one. The, the gap between um, the top of the uh, claw head and the actual top ring on the claw, so if you clamp it right, that's the only way. Unless they've made this one insanely weak as well. So far, it doesn't look like they have. Um, so, that thing, maybe that eel. It's the bassiest speaker ever. Probably the most distorted as well. Uh, but. certain way it has to grab in order to win, so... Okay, there we go, that's nice. Managed to win. This is a questionable placement for the floor machine. You don't get a lot of space here for it at all. Now, I know this got severely weakened last year because of me. So let's see, um, is it still like that, or... I don't know, it seems a bit stronger there, so it is possible that we might win from this. I think it's like only if it's grabbed right. It has, it has the tiniest bit of strength ever, or ever. So, um... All right, that might mm, moved it because I got it um, hooked around the um, the loop there, the string. So no. Yeah, I might come back and put a pound in it later. Incidentally, that side's broken. Let's try this one. We had a bit of a problem with this one last year because the string didn't go down all the way. Let's see, uh, is it still like that? No. No, 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 no. Well, to be fair, I think it was this side that did it. Right, yeah. Now, if that's far enough to the back of that banana to grab, it might, because that's a... Uh... So I won from this off camera last year, so it's possible right, to do yeah. it again. Crompton's Fun Fest still existing as well. Oh no, if it didn't stab it, 
my god, it goes wrong. It would, it would somewhat grab it, but... Yeah, that's too far. So, um, how about this one? Right, yeah. yeah. Uh, not the banana, that other one there. No. Right again. Attempt. Hmm, they got bad guys pushed here now, so they have up they have updated their push to be fair, which is good. So Let's see if we can win one. Now I know I've already already got this one, but that seems to be the best one to grab. It does seem strong initially. There we go. Ooh, that's good drop height actually. So give Black Cat credit where it is due. Um, the EX ones or this one specifically seems a lot better than last year. So that's. A good thing. I'm happy that maybe I'll be maybe not grandly. They are they have improved, and uh, they didn't. Um, they were understanding when I said about the nappy. They said they'll uh, sort that. So hopefully that can be sorted as well. Um, and about the uh, workshop door being open, well, we'll just have to see. Oh no. This one doesn't go down all the way in all fairness. Um, so do I risk putting a pound in this? Um, no, we put 20 Wolfie in, walk away if um, we can't win anything. And then um, come back later if I feel like, because I do think if we're gonna win off any EX ones today, it's likely gonna be this one. So it's about the angle of it really there. Cause that's a good angle now, so it could. Decent grab or not, never mind. We'll come back. Still wild as ever. Um, let's see if we can win anything. Um, try that uh, Ghostbusters thing in the back right corner. The minion is a bit small, so it might slide out, but that Ghostbusters thing it actually might pick up. So, and from memory, last time, or maybe, maybe it doesn't apply this time. Um, this one actually had good rigging, but it didn't pick it up that time, to be fair. So maybe that doesn't apply today. Try again. Just try the minion. Maybe? No, never mind. We won't play this one. That one I might give one try. Because it might, if I grab it like round its neck, it might uh, pick it up. But otherwise, these do look a little bit too large for this machine. That cord. Oh my god. Nice. And it's stuck. No way. It is actually stuck. Now, I know the rep about what you do if you do certain things here, like collecting coins from the uh, coin entries when you're not playing the machine. So rather than shake it and uh, cause trouble, just put another credit in and do it like this. Oh my, okay. Don't want to waste too right, much yeah. trying to get this. So, um, God, uh, last 30p here, but I think one more push. Do it. This is madness. All right, that's done it, and that won't have registered either. So it's very possible we could get more. Uh, let's try it. Try again. Cleaning out the X1 and the Black Cat, maybe. But there we go. That's our second win. And it is fairly big, so nice. Maybe that was fluke, but it's possible that this could be done again. Um, let's 
try and identify the best one for now, likely that pink one. Yeah, that's... I think it may have got stuck last time, to be honest. But I'm going to try again. If it happened once before, it can happen again if I do it right, which I don't seem to have done here, but... Nonetheless, that was a um, good move, that, winning that. Unfortunately not. That seems to be in a good position like now, as of, like it was last time. No. Oh yeah, we were trying for it because it's pink. We would try for this one here for the same reason, because it's pink. And also because it's the closest one to shoot. No, maybe not. Right again. So either that was payout last time, or you know that was just a good fluke. There's gotta be a way. I'm just trying to figure out how did it get stuck. So I'm just trying to replicate it. Maybe because I don't know. Just keep playing. Uh, if I win again, I win again. But if I don't, I don't. It was still a mad win. You don't need to clean it out just to get a clickbait title. Um, you can still clickbait it by saying prize got stuck if you want. So... No! It's too big. And I don't think that one's taking money, to be fair. So... moved it though i'm not sure right, maybe yeah. if i uh wonder what this side's like it doesn't accept give this one another one Last attempt, well, second to last attempt with this pound anyway. I might put another one, I don't know. Yeah, that's weak now. Um, but do you know what? We got a win off it anyway. I'm happy with that alone. I'm satisfied. Okay, so. Oh, at least we won. It was a bit of a mad win as well because it got stuck, so there we go. And lo and behold, after at least a year, um, if I, unless I can see that wrong, the nappy is gone. It's been binned. So there we go. Uh, let's play. So, basically what happened is I spoke with them about it and uh, they've uh, thrown it away. It's mad how long that was there for, but oh well, it's gone now. This machine still opens up all the way upon rigging, um, but we can still try. Sometimes you can get it just about right. Uh, maybe not in this instance though. try okay get in her uh, nappy has gone so uh, we can't make jokes about that anymore so after that clip i just spoke with a fella here um he says he's been here for like seven eight years but he wasn't here last year uh, but he's back now so i had a good conversation with him about things like the arcade and that um seems like a nice guy so yeah i'm happy about it um so as i say um to be honest um still this isn't a dig it's more of a criticism to help like them improve if you will um obviously there's still some room for improvement but so far some things have already been improved which is good to see like first of all new you know maybe not loads but new investment anyway getting uh, some new technology in um the nappy has been removed which um 
I informed them about, but that's uh, that's all sorted now. And then the tap, the extension lead underneath the tap, that's been relocated as well, so that's good. So, you know, I'm, I'm not out to just get the black cat, you know, I want to, you know, I want them to do good. And uh, I'm happy they're doing well. There we go, another win. That doesn't have the lights on, oh well. It's uh, three wins from here today, so we're not doing so bad for our first trip here. And as I say, um, still room for some improvements not a dig more of a criticism to try and help them if they see this video but um you know i'm happy for them you know they're still doing well they uh, obviously survived over the winter and reopened for 2023 so there we go um do i have another pound i will you know i'm gonna spend that on another machine maybe not this uh, i'll decide i'll have a walk around and see what i like another thing i've noticed as well this side anyway i can both i can't quite remember these were both broken last year but now these work so they obviously still have, have care for this arcade and they um, have re repaired these so that's good um, in fact uh, actually do you know what? I might actually get to sit down while playing this one now um, not often I get to do this on an EX1 plenty of times at home with my Mighty Atoms and my Octopus Green because they're in my bedroom but in a natural arcade no I don't actually get to sit down while playing a claw machine much so uh, let's see try and win one of these uh meerkat things uh, this will be the last claw machine i play for today but we, we're most certainly going to be back here all through 2023 um and uh, yeah that, that's picked it up okay maybe nice Wow, those are bright. Oh my God. So to be fair, we're not doing so well. We're not doing uh, so well. Not I didn't mean to say not doing so well. We're not doing so bad in the Black Cat today. Now, I'll be, uh, I've had more wins, but from Sweet Lamp, I've had more like better prizes today, if you will, like bigger prizes. Um, like that's three from the EX ones now, and then one from the Sweet Land. So, so you know what? That that's that's incredible. Um, Definitely uh, feel a bit brighter about the future now. Um, obviously, we don't know what Parker's Leisure is going to do like in the future. We don't. We didn't really with Queens and stuff. But um, yeah, um, I'd say I'm satisfied with that. How much we've got? Because some of that's for Lions. One's supposed to be for Sega Outrun that I'm going to play. Then some for Cambria. We're going to give this another pound. I feel like it. Uh, there's one down there already. Um, it seems strong. If you well. Obviously not really, really strong for these prizes. It seems strong enough to, to grab them. There we go again. Nice. That's two. So, but then again, they're on a randomizer, so it doesn't exactly mean that it's overpaying. It might just have randomly um, chose to pick two up and win at the same time. So that's five from here now. some uh, Crompton's rock and roll signs there as well um, that have been left. I uh, wonder what's happening with them. Um, maybe not today, um, but maybe at some point I might ask them, um, do they intend to keep those? Um, quite, oh, no, not quite. Uh, is that one there by the chute now? That could. If, uh, well, by that chute there, I mean, that uh, picks it up correctly. Oh well, uh, I'm really tempted now. now let's just see, because um, we've got to budget this, you see, because I do want to go Cambria as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven maximum for Cambria. Well, then one. Um, I'd say another pound on this, actually. Um, I'm liking this one. But uh, I don't want to... You know, fair enough, um, payout rates and that have to exist, but, you know, I don't uh, want this one to be uh, nerfed like the Sweet Lands were, but, I don't know. I mean, to be fair, when you don't grab it right, it does seem not the strongest anyway, but you do have to grab it right, and it might not be overpay, it might just be the randomizer. 
see there. Now I can't tell whether that was uh, rigged or if that was um, just whether that actually rigged or whether it just got knocked by that one on the shelf there slightly. Mm, maybe not. It's fine. We've we've won two anyway, so. Try it again. So the best way it seems to grab it is like by the head or neck. It doesn't matter if we don't win again today. We can always come back and win more. Now I'm back here Monday with my cousin. I'm not sure whether I'm actually going to film then though. Um, it depends how we feel. Um, she didn't really do YouTube to be fair. I just had her in the last episode with you know, when I was at 10 pin. But we'll just see how I feel. Um, do I feel too awkward filming or not that day? But again, we'll just have to see. But either way, for Black Cat now, um, my review of it for Twin Sun 3 so far is still some room to improve a few more things, but so f but, um, already some like problems from last year have been rectified now, which I'm happy with. And also five wins today, four of which from EX1s, which I'm uh, thrilled with. So that's it for now, unfortunately. We will be going, we'll be going to Lions Wing Cups now, and then um, we'll be going to Cambria Arcade. So that'll be that for this episode, so. Honestly, I'm just really happy to be back in here. It's great now, so let's go. So, um, exclusive and then look of the look inside of the um, all classic all winds machines. Um, this is how it works. I think the two peas in there. That's, that'd be the hopper for paying out, I believe. You see it from the back. Well, that's gone on the floor. So the two pens comes down there, yeah. lifts that up, which releases the ball. the ball. So it's not electrical, all this is all mechanical. It's a classic machine. There we go, we go goes through there. So if you turn that, that releases. And then the hopper will go down there and release a two pin. The pen's very interesting there. Thank you very much for that. I um, wasn't expecting to see inside one of these today. Um, yeah. So like there's all the reject coins, I'm gonna guess people have put in like yeah, one piece, five pences and stuff. That's too, obviously the coins are yeah. too small, so no, they just fall straight back out say there. Even like on some older machines like 80s, 90s, they have the mechanical mechs, so yeah. like they can only take one coin. It's not like, say most modern machines now, like the cranes, they have like electrical mechs, so yeah. if you put yeah. the wrong coin it can reject it, it, and it can take multiple coins at once, so I've to admit that this is fully mechanical, so it can only take one. Yeah. Right, interesting. Um, glad to see these are all still here in good condition and also appreciate seeing the inside of one. That was the instructions great. as well, ball sizes and oh, see that looks like half inch there, is it? Uh, glass size that uh, try and read that. Uh, operators adjustments for variable payout etc. are painted red. Skill by the players exercising correct pressure on the trigger and not just by trigger position is ensured but by the incorporation of Brian's patent variable pressure unit. Play ball and spirals must be kept clean. And there's your spare balls. I oh, didn't even realise them, but yeah. yeah. Good to have spares. So I think those are just regular marbles, but yeah, I suppose but so in general these are bearings, yeah. old machines now, so you know, keep the spares old ones because they don't make them, at least not like this anymore. No, um, no. I all believe mechanical, isn't it? Say, I believe they plan. As I mentioned to you a moment ago, they you know some companies still make these like yeah, recreational, yeah. like they put Spider-Man or yeah. Thomas the Tank or whatever on it. It's no, it's not the same as it used no. to be. Definitely. So this here is an original um, All Winds machine. So a quadmatic, a quadmatic. Uh, there's one over there that which Parker's like Leisure made themselves, made, yeah. which is interesting to see. But I uh, uh, appreciate that a lot. But there we go, exclusive. The inside of a. Quadmatic Allwinds machine. Before I actually go as well, uh, I'm gonna give this Allwinds a try. Now we've just seen the inside of it, so I'll just show you a general um, way to, like, general playthrough of it. So we won two there. Nice, so. Yeah, it's interesting to see the inside of that, actually. Um, all mechanical. Oh, almost, but we got two more, so basically just play them off until it's empty. Um, we'll go, but we will be back. So, that fella's name, James it was, who just showed me the inside of that. Very, very nice fella. Um, I'm happy, because he was here, he's been here for about seven, eight years before. He just took a year off last year. But I'm happy he's back, he seems like a really nice fella, so. 
I just put that in, what's happening? Uh, hopefully not jams, but um, see what, let's just see. Ah, well, we lost it all, but um, it was fun playing. So I think I'll uh, take a trip to Lion's Wing Cups now, and then to Cambria Arcade. So we're at um, Lion's Wing Cups. So we'll start off, uh, first of all, because I might forget in the um, video, like at the start of the video or anything, um, if you play the max traps, just a bit of a warning about the flickering because those those will still be the same as proven there. Now, some improvements here. It seems a bit more spacious in here now. They've had a bit of a move around. I haven't had a look in here yet, so I'll show you from here as well. So the EX1's been moved around. Uh, new fruit machine area as well. Um, obviously, your prize redemption stuff is still around. Here are your pushers. That's new uh, Monopoly one. I don't think that was there last year. Got your stacker still. Um, that showcase pusher, which I believe is that Harry Levy? Uh, I think it might be, I'm not sure. Um, pretty much the same. A lot of Ian Easton tech in here, like this lucky to and the Max Grabs, of course. Quick drop, which I think was uh, here last year. That Dino Pop, uh, see, I don't know where the second one is. That might be gone. Um, yeah, it's just a uh, really a few new machines and they've moved a lot of things around which is good there's the big one the very famous big one that i broke in episode four one of my very first videos on, on claw shrek and one for uh, tractor ethan you're like this jolly roger above the builder roly kitty ride which i don't think it's on uh well is it i don't know but um yeah that's that's new for this year definite um so we'll play a few things I'll, I'll start by uh, playing a max grab because those are my favourites behind Guan Xing, so... Not sure what to go for. Might have drifted a little bit too far forward for that um, octopus there. It's a good initial grab. Decent rigging to be fair as well, or decent drop height. Decent rigging anyway. Max grabs are great. Try that again, got two more tries. Might try that big one, but I'm not sure, we'll, we'll see. Either way, again, this arcade seems to be still decent as well. They all really seem to be in tower. Black Cat especially, I'm very impressed with how that is this year. Um, that's definitely gotten better, so... You know, props to them. Because honestly, last year a few of us were thinking, yeah, um, might be game over for them, but no, it doesn't seem to be. It seems to be all right. So we'll try to see what the future holds. Because obviously, it's down to Parker's leisure, like the owners, what they do with that arcade going forwards. You know, hopefully they keep it for a while, but we'll just have to see. Nonetheless, let's just enjoy it for 2073, and hopefully a few more years to come. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's the Max Grabber. Uh, I'll try the World of Toys outside. Now. World of Toys by Faye Lully, but Harry Levy branding on it again. Um, so I, I will guess that Harry Levy probably distribute for Faye Lully in the UK as they do Pau Kai. Um, it's the same on my speed catcher, that's Harry Levy branding, but um, it's a Faye Lully machine. Now this one's a modern one, so I'm not sure whether it has the green battery on the PCB or not. I'd like to think that. There's actually one failure on Faye Lully machines. Okay. Um, Rigging on this one in particular doesn't seem to be best, but we'll see. Try and get this uh, silver Winnie the Pooh. There's a really cool plush that have come out uh, for Disney's 100th. I think with this one, because um, of the way the strength is set, you have to grab it just right. As shown, now I'll put another pound on that. I might get, so I've got 10 for Cambria, but I might you know, drop that down to seven maybe for this, just to give this one a proper like go, if you will. Oh, nice. We're doing really well today in Tower, and this is now 
first like Tawin trip, you know, technically on Claw Trek would have been Cambria Arcade in episode 135. Now, but here, you know, in episode 137, we're actually doing good. This is our first like proper one to other arcades. We're actually doing well as you know also. So let's see if we can get Mini Mouse. I mean, it's just paid out, so, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't, but... You know, I'm sure if I got Winnie the Pooh, anyway, so... Now, Stitch seems to be the most open now, so... Maybe, but again, payouts and stuff, so... Oh well, not the end of the world. Um, a pretty nice win there as well, I like this plush. Um, it's like... It's over like, um, Silky, and then the Disney 100 there, because obviously... 2023 marks 100 years since Disney was founded in 1923. But there we go, uh, cool win. All the toys here again. You right, mate? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Fine, yeah. So, let's give this a try. In all honesty, um, I know in the past I've uh, dissed World of Toys. Now, admittedly, they're not the, my favorite machines in the world, but to be honest, I've grown a soft spot for them. You know, this year and last year. Well, I've been last year playing them a lot. Um, still think they're better than e claws and I commend Lions for having these instead. This one's got a bit of a large claw, so yeah, things might uh, slip out. But uh, we can always try. I think this is acts more like a clearance crane, really. No, I want to try and get that. Um, Mario squid is it um, but um, it's a matter of will it um, swing technique enough uh, maybe not there's always another time though I'm sure that won't be the last one they get especially with Mario the movie coming out um, which to be fair when this video comes out it'll already that film will already be out and most of you who care to see it probably will have already seen it so Which is the best one for to uh, grab? I think you know position-wise this one, but because of the claw and the, the, the prize, it does um, tend to slide out a little bit. That could be a good grab, to be fair. Oh, nice! Oh, maybe not. Uh, maybe not. At the end of the world. Uh, as I say, I want a minimum of seven pound for Cambria Arcade. So if need be, uh, I'm trying to budget this. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So maximum we can have two more tries, or two more pounds. So that would be eight more tries on this. As this is one pound for four plays, or 30 pence for one. Let's see what uh, happens here now. So that was a good grab, because uh, to be fair, double tap uh, helps us out. Oh, no, it just uh, slides out a bit. Uh, I don't think it was... I couldn't tell whether it rigged, but um, it's possible we could win, you know, so... Looks like I'm the best grab there, but well, there's room for improvement. Um, I can uh, try and get a better one now. It's at an angle, so maybe. It's a bit by the chute, really, it's there, so... I mean, we could, but I don't know whether we will or not. We'll have to see. And if not, we do have another pound that we can use. Ooh, yeah, okay. Um, that might help us a bit there if the um, if it's foot slight by the chute, because um, double tap, we can hopefully clamp it a bit. That or it's too far to the um, front now. That's just moved it away. Um, but as I say, um, not the end of the world if we don't win, because we are a lot of wins already today. So, and can pretty much guarantee if I play that mini EX1 in Cambria, which I fully intend to do, by the way, um, we're most certainly going to get more. So, but nonetheless, six so far is good. So. Right, that's a good grab. Oh, it just slides out. It's because of the claw. Um, to be fair enough, it's a clearance current anyway, so it's like a way to get rid of all that old stock, really. So, 
Lost try, let's see what we can do. I mean, we can always come back another day and try again. So there we go. Um, very happy um, with the win so far and our trip so far, it's going very well. So uh, let's venture over to Cambria Arcade. So we've made it to Cambria Arcade. And one thing I've noticed since last time is they have a new machine. They got a uh, Sonic basketball thing now, which was in place of the Greedy Gobs and the Wheeler winner. Now those are still here. They're in the back. I'll show you those in a minute. So yeah, picked this up in the week, and now it's um, on the arcade floor, which is really good. It's a uh, nice little machine. In fact, I might give that a go. Um, oh, go for free. Don't mind if I do. Thank you very much. Let's try this. even though it's um, a small machine, so we should get them. Quite a high score. Pound the go, but she gives me two, so never mind. Oh, no. oh, missed. Oh, seventy eight there. Good score. Cool music on it as well, it uses the Seaside Hill remix for fun on Sonic Dash, so... Why it does it in round style, because look at the score. Uh, what's the highest score you've seen on it so far if you've not paid attention to it? I didn't pay attention, I know me and Toby did it yesterday, we got 200 and... I want to say 247. Oh nice, higher than me anyway. We've really got this here now, next to uh, Classic American Road Trip. Um, a wheeler winner just now chills in the corner here, but it's still on the floor nonetheless. Not been scrapped, not been removed, so that's a good thing. Um, and then pretty much everything here is um, still the same. So that's just the new addition for this week, Fair Cambria. They picked that up from Whitby, I believe they said. Uh, really cool machine, and uh, cheers to Neil for giving me a free play on that as well. Uh, I might play that again on another trip. With my own money. So then, um, I'm going to play some claw machines now. We have about seven pounds. You see, there's... At the... As it stands, you know, to start with, there doesn't look like many that is easily grabbable there, but, you know, with a bit of work, we should be able to win. See, so there we go, that's so it. Yeah. Seaside Hill, um, music coming from that. The version uses Sonic Dash, uh, not Sonic Heroes, by the way. Which, to be honest, I prefer that version anyway, so yeah. Great machine. Happy they've got it, to be honest. Alright, nice. So we got a win, so I knew we'd win from this. May return towards the end and uh, try and win a few more, but other than that, um, that's an awful from here which I'm happy with, so there we go. Try this again now, this uh, EX1. So this one's still out of action but hopefully they'll fix that soon they care about the machines here so that will probably get sorted as soon as they can 
I'm not gonna lie, it feels weird. Yo, know, seeing this part of the arcade with that Sonic basketball machine and not greedy gobs and wheeler winner. But it's a good machine, so I'm not complaining. Just I'll take a bit of getting used to because I'm used to those two being there, not that. Let's try uh, Hopefully we'll win this, but if not, um, well, we've had plenty of wins today anyway. Instant replay, yeah. Good grab. Ooh, not quite. Maybe not. Squishy one. Um, I'm gonna try for this yellowy one here. Oh no, not this one as well. This one's got the um, same copy and card we've done uh, one of the EX ones last time, uh, Limit Switch. I'll have to uh, just let them know about that. Sure, sure at least not on purpose anyway. Now, somehow, now I've called Neil, it works. It wasn't even a go, huh? Seems to sort itself out. Try again. Not on purpose, not on purpose. Let's try again, hopefully it'll uh, work this time around. Ooh, well, I mean it works, just um, you know, didn't quite pay out there as it's supposed to do. Um, yeah, grab it, grab it, grab it, please. Ooh, it's even a bit higher this time. Seems to be, yeah, it works now. I don't know what happened there, maybe the switch got stuck or something? Um, right, I think I'll go in and play that mini EX one with my final three pounds. That 10 pence I might use right, on the yeah. machines. Uh, See if we can win a few more of our nice little prizes before we uh, wrap this episode up. Oh, this, um... Ooh, that's uh, moved it a bit, so it's possible. It's just a particular way you have to grab these prizes. Uh... Decent grab. That might stay. Nice. Try again. Well, I've got two in a row, maybe not, but we um, it's room for improvement there. Uh, we will um, possibly get that if it uh, rotates and grabs rightly. It's a good star, yeah. for that pink thing it's uh, a lot of older prizes buried underneath uh, as well which is interesting like maybe one day uh, and he's coming here uh, do a full core track episode just so i can win all the old stuff like some of the buried stuff out i don't know what that that thing there's supposed to be if you can see but this is our last pound anyway so uh Actually, I don't think we'll try for it. It's a bit buried and I don't want to waste goes. I would actually like to win stuff, even though we've won a lot today, to be fair. So, we've got red one there. Not quite. Uh... Maybe? Yeah. Oh, no, it's obviously never mind. Sorry. My mistake. I am, yeah, mate. It's a McPizza person. Did you get I got it from Asda. Uh, one near me. Thank you very much. Uh, let me just uh, get up here now. Just type it in M C P I Z Z A. Oh, it's a it's a, no, it's, 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 it's a, it's supposed to be an A on the end there. No, P-E-R-S-O-N. Yeah, job subscri a subscription, I'll uh, greatly appreciate that. Uh, 
anyway, that, um, as for the video that you're watching right now itself, um, I'm afraid um, we've come to the end of it. But it's been a good episode. Uh, the Black Cat's returned and it's um, improved a bit. I'd love to see him improve more, but this is a good start anyway. Lions Wing Cups was good. And obviously Cambria, um, still good as ever. New machine there. Really happy with it. So thank you very much for watching this video. Take care. See you all next time. And goodbye. Perfect.